Like one of the one of the deals behind that, we had my brother's friend who plays guitar. His name is Cameron. He would come back and help us with stuff like performance wise and like helped us with naming the songs because our songs were literally like new song, the new song, the new song. Our set list was like new song, the new slow like, song. Yeah, it was like the newest, newest song and uh -huh. newest song. Yeah. <laughs> who does the writing, both of you? I, I write the songs. Yeah. And, and Branson does not read any music. He thinks it's Records it on, he plays it on his, records it on his phone, thinks the other parts records, puts it all together, shows Preston his part. And Have you ever written anything with lyrics? <coughs> Was it all instrumental? It's all instrumental. Because well, that's what you want to do? Or? That's, I, I don't, never really came to me the lyrics, so. Yeah. What made you guys want to play uh, Now on String? Now on String? I, well my dad, he, well I, I said he's from Algeria and he used to play. Like, I started out playing, when I started playing guitar, it was like really quiet, you know, like, like really no rhythm to it, just like messing around. And it was all these like Middle Eastern or Arabic scales. So, went off that for a while. And he would, like, I, went, I would go play with my uncle from Milwaukee, his brother, and he used a nylon. So that kind of, I started like, oh, nylon string, because I was always playing on like a Fender acoustic or something. And then I, my sister, Nadia, she lives out here. She emailed me the CD, Rodrigo and Gabriela. Oh, yeah. So I, then I was like, oh, they, they're putting so many different elements into it. Cause like we grew up on rock, we grew up on punk, metal, we grew up on all this different kind of music. And I've written songs from when I was little that were like 100% rock. I've, you know, been, I wanted to do all that. So we're kind of tried to put it on so we could do all of that and still have this like kind of raw acoustic. Yeah, like I started out with playing electric and um, that's when I got like really into like classic rock and everything and when he started playing nylon then he was kinda like, you play this while I like do some riff and so I would like play the rhythm with a pick and then so then after after that kinda started playing that regularly and like making songs and he started teaching me how to play with my hands like because he taught me everything he teaches me so how long have you guys been playing um i i started teaching him the nylon string like a little less than a year ago in april of last year yeah and i started i started out with like i said like the really quiet and then i started learning how to play like classical stuff i wasn't i never really got very good at it so like that was like I did like a school talent show and then I did like this rap fest festival but all I was playing was just like basically his part but you know by myself so there was no melody there was nothing like that to it. and then he was kind of like well, like I want in on that because it, it was a lot of fun. You guys are all self-taught. Yeah. Wow. And they're both drummers. He took electric guitar lessons. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I was, I started drums when I was like six. I did marching corps and I don't know. But that was reading music. And part of the reason I didn't go through with marching corps was I was really bad at reading music. Like everybody else, like it was kind of weird because we're all in a line and like in this room and we got an instructor and he'll just give you a sheet and everybody will look at it. He'll give us like two minutes. And these kids like go through it and just play it. But I was not really good at looking at it and being able to play it. That's what makes you a guitarist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the definition. Yes, please. Yes. 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 Yes.